Harry, and since it's our 100th telecast as a TV news program, our cinema analyst Bill Timoney is taking us through some movies about TV news. And uh, you're exactly right. I think it was the right time for it. It's 100 episodes of mm -hmm. our, our TV news program here, News Gathering. And you know you're a, you're a veteran TV news journalist. Uh, I'm not. I came to, uh, when I started working media, I came from the entertainment side mm -hmm. and from the film side. So I know some of these films about TV news, but I didn't see them as someone who had ever seen the inside of TV news. So I thought I would go back okay. and find out what they got right. Okay. The first one I saw was Broadcast News. Broadcast News, right. Now that's the, this movie came out in... 1987. 87, okay. It's made by the great James Brooks. He wrote it, mm -hmm. he directed it, he produced it. Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar nominations for everybody. William Hurt, Holly Hunter, Albert Brooks. Uh, I'll meet you at the place and do the thing we went that time. Mm -hmm. Right? That became a right. catchphrase for so long. Right. I think what it got right is the frenetic quality, the frenetic nature of assembling, of gathering, of mm -hmm. putting together a newscast, a live newscast. Mm -hmm. I don't think any other film has ever captured quite that perfectly. It's, it's dramatic, it's crazy, and it's very, very fun. You know, that movie, one of the scenes I remember the most is more a cosmetic issue with the men and how William Hurt has to pull his jacket down to sit on it so it doesn't bunch up that's on right. him. So that's right. You've got Albert. Isn't it crazy that I remember that thing? Well, be, because it is, it is just as important. I mean, there is, there is uh, the content and also uh, how it's being delivered. Albert Brooks has everything on the ball, and William Hurt is completely vapid and has nothing but the ability to lie and to read a teleprompter and to look good. But he does one generous thing in the movie. He shows Albert Brooks that trick. Right. So Albert Brooks will look a little bit better. It still doesn't help because he gets so nervous and he ruins it. Next movie, Good Night and Good Luck. Good Night and Good Luck. It's really the story of Edward R. Murrow. And here's what I like about this. This is journalism, TV journalism, even American society, at what Abraham Lincoln said, you know, uh, the better angels of our nature. This is what all journalists want to aspire to. The sort of the, the standards that Edward R. Murrow set in the 1950s. And I think uh, you've got George Clooney and his partner, Grant Hesloff, use Clooney's celebrity and his power to make this movie, which is basically a docudrama about the McCarthyism of the time and how Murrow exposed that. And it does represent, again, what you can accomplish when you are fighting the worst of your natures. And the best thing I like about it is Edward um, McCarthy, you know, David Strahan plays uh, Murrow. McCarthy is played by, do you remember? Yes, I do, and it's slipping me right now. I'll give you a hint. Thank you. He's played by himself. They used the footage that's from Murrow's actual interview and yes. that to show McCarthy for who he was and, and what he was. And in fact, when they test screened the movie before it came out, a lot of the comments came back. The actor who played McCarthy was not very good. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are kidding hey, me. Hey, look, you know, it's the, uh, it's the poet George Santayana said, those who do not remember the lessons of history are condemned to repeat it. Mm -hmm. And that's what Hesloff and Clooney are trying to do, to make it right in front. Again, this is what can happen if we are not diligent in news journalism. And, you know, everybody talks about winning an Emmy Award, but really the most prestigious award to win as a journalist is the Edward R. Murrow Award. The Edward R. Murrow Award, Award. right. Murrow. Which leads us to our third story in, about bit. somebody who will never win an <laughs> Edward R. Murrow Award. Hey, watch out now. Yeah, it's true. He's still working. Yeah, okay. That is Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. It is such a silly, silly movie, and it is Will Ferrell. Do you think this is the best part that Will Ferrell has ever played? Because I certainly is it, do. Is it the best part? I uh, think it's great. I, I got to say, there are some awesome lines yeah, in but this he's movie. so so perfect and, mm -hmm. and I think what I discovered going back to it and looking at it listening to what so many veteran journalists have told me is that it's a lot more accurate than you realize it, it you really know it's is. about the perfect hair it's about the coloring of the hair you know it that is that sort of pompous stuff that is in this uh, in this business at times. And an interesting piece of that is yeah. how women are treated Ugh. in the industry. Right. And at the time, for a woman to become an anchor was unheard of. Completely unheard yeah. of. Heresy, even. Right. Uh, do you feel any of that exists today? To a certain degree, a but not here, sure. not here at Ebro. Not here at Ebro. I sure. don't feel it at all. But yeah, there are def definitely, I believe, some inequities sometimes, and women have to work a little harder, so well, they think. Well, let's see what happens as Ron Burgundy goes through life, because we've, uh, we've just uh, heard the announcement Sequel, Anchorman 2, Anchorman Ron Burgundy. Two. Yeah, they've, uh, they've already put out the trailer and the movie will be out soon. You stay classy, San Diego, is his tagline. Mm -hmm. Bill Timoney, you stay classy. Just don't put it in the teleprompter. <laughs> don't put it in the teleprompter. He literally <laughs> reads everything in the teleprompter. Mm -hmm.